Oh, Andy, obviously, uh, you know, that was a, a tough offense to face. You know, what, what did you kind of see, and what, what did they do that was presented the challenge? And I guess you know, getting those tight ends and stuff too was was it? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we knew going into the game, the the tight ends, just watching their film, and breaking it down. They're they're good players, um, productive, long, athletic, and handling them in the pass game was definitely going to be a challenge. But um, they did a real nice job creating some schemes for those guys and. Uh, Obviously, at the end of the day, one of the things we come in here and we talk about all the time and you guys ask about, you know, is just simplifying and, and uh, you know, doing your job and uh, playing with eye control. And you can obviously see what happens when, when the eye control isn't there. And so, first and foremost, that comes down to us and getting them ready. That's on me, making sure that these guys totally understand where their eyes are supposed to be, you know, in all situations, which... Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure to do a good job and, and be better at that, you know, moving forward. How, how different was that? I mean, because I mean, coming into that game, you guys had a lot of 144 receiving yards and tight ends all season, and then Hollister mm -hmm. goes for 144 himself. So I guess how, how different was that challenge for, for you guys and maybe the backers or, or whatever? You know what? It, I think it, it uh, a lot of it comes down to we're at the end of the season now. There's a lot of film out there. There's plays that people are grabbing from last year that people ran on them. So there's so much to cover that it comes down to focusing yeah. on your basic rules and executing your basic techniques. Because there's so much to cover right now um, that it, it simply comes down to your basic day one fundamentals. And when those go away, it doesn't matter who you're facing, what schemes you're seeing. When those basic fundamentals go away and you don't do a great job, and one of the things we talk about consistency, because, uh, consistently is eye control. When you lose that, it wasn't a matter of uh, new formations, you know, and new plays, but it was a matter of execution. Even though he's a true freshman, did you, you know, not having DeAndre in, did that, did that make a difference? I mean, he's a guy that's been in a lot of different, you know, different ways for you this season. Yeah, you, you got to move some guys around a little bit there and shuffle some things around. And DeAndre's done, you know, a solid job there. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, on the third downs, um, once again, it, it wasn't so much the coverage or his position by any means. It was more of a matter of execution. I mean, we, we didn't get very much pressure at all. If any, we had zero sacks in that game. And defense always starts, especially on passing downs, with the pressure and how you're getting after the quarterback. Uh, we got to do a better job on mixed downs of, of keeping our guys fresh so that uh, they're ready to roll when, when those uh, what we call money downs, third downs come up. You know, guys aren't gas, so we got to do a better job there with the the front seven all together. You guys got the one pick uh, chance on the, on the tip ball. Ben and, and Sam were saying after the game that you guys did more last week in terms of trying to you know, turn over drills and stuff than you've done all season. I mean, uh, at this point, do you just keep doing what you're doing and, and just hope they come? I, mean, I know we ask you about it every week, but it's kind of the same deal. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean, I think part of it too is. Uh, the more and more we address that, you're just pulling away from other things. You only get so much time out there to practice. So the more and more you spend on that, the less you're getting somewhere else. The less you get somewhere else, the less you're probably going to be prepared there, and then that's going to affect you as well. So it's a fine line of handling, you know. And hey, here, here's the deal. At the end of the day, turnovers is one of the main three things that at the very beginning we set out and talked about. We're doing a lot of things really well. Right now, the turnover thing, it's been that way all season. So um, we need to get turnovers, we do. But guess what, too, at the end of the day, we still gotta practice our other stuff and that can't, it can't be all or nothing on these turnovers either. Um, our guys have done a hell of a job, played with great effort. And you know, one of the most important things is that we continue to do that. And you stay persistent at whatever it is that you're doing. And eventually what you put into it, you'll get out of it. Do you guys, uh, I mean, I haven't really gone back and had the chance to look at this game yet, but mm -hmm. do, you, do you play a lot of man and in uh, and, and trying to force turnovers? How is it different playing man versus zone? Because in, in zone you might be able to kind of keep your eyes mm -hmm. maybe forward a little bit versus man. You know, you're, you're running with guys and maybe more. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would play. say the amount of man we play is not that much compared, especially when you when you add in the first and second downs in there. It's not we don't play a ton of man. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so when it, when it comes down to that, once again, I mean, if you go back through the season, we've had our hands on balls plenty of times and we've got to finish. And when you finish, that creates confidence in that. 
when the guy's finishing on the ball and we're getting interceptions, and that becomes contagious, and we haven't been able to get that rolling. And and at what, the end of the day, that's the bottom line. What did they do offensively, and how would you rate Potter? What kind of quarterback is he? He's similar to the guy we just saw, you know, and he's a good passer. He is, and that's one thing when you start to talk about some of these guys we're facing right now, and you say, you know, a guy is mobile and he could extend plays, and especially in the passing game with his legs, we're not taking and discrediting anything away from his ability to pass because just like last week, uh, you know, Potter's very capable of throwing the ball, and he's proven that. Um, very athletic. Obviously, there's going to be some uh, quarterback design uh, runs in there uh, that we'll have to be ready for. And then, you know, the, the more pro style when he's underneath center. How do you so kind of the offensively, do you look like anybody you've seen? Oh, yeah, it looks similar to, it'd be very similar in terms of personnel and, and sets that we saw last week. It'd be similar. We're on a stretch here where we've got a couple teams that are, that are similar. And obviously, um, our guys have seen the formations and practice stuff. Teams are getting great film on us to see what exactly what we look like, you know. But that's where we're at in the season right now. Everybody has that, so it comes down to once again going back to your fundamentals and, and how you execute your schemes, um, because everybody's running what they run now. Everyone's going to have a little wrinkle here or there each week, but at the end of the day, you are who you are right now, and it comes down to who executes better. Even if the Mountain West didn't have a great non-conference, it seems like you know in, in conference it really obviously it ramps up. And we're talking to yeah. Scooter about about how much. Conference games are more difficult for Boise State than when you guys played. How have you noticed that? You know, it's kind of, you know, kind of come up where, where now it's, it's, it's way more competitive in conference for you guys. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, um, I think first and foremost, you got to, I mean, let's give credit to where credit's due. I mean, there's some really, really good teams in this conference. There's some really, really good players in this conference. And obviously, uh, there's some coaches putting some guys in some good positions in this conference. And um, I think that's, attributed to, to the conference we play in and, and, and you know how good it is uh, week to week you got to be ready to play like like anything else so that's that's college football that's one of the hardest things about college football you got to be on point every week if you're not on point every week and somebody else is you know what's going to happen and that's at the end of the day that's one of the toughest deals about this is uh, enjoying the grind and we're in the grind right now. We're down the stretch right here, and you gotta enjoy it. You gotta love it. Because guess what? Here in a couple months, it's gonna be back to training, and we ain't suiting up, we ain't preparing, we ain't practicing. We're in there lifting, we're in there running. We're out here in the snow running. So guess what? Enjoy the grind right now while we got it. With that being said, I guess, and when you do come off a loss like that, where now you don't control your own destiny and that kind of stuff from the division race, and you're playing a team that's three and six, it's a Friday night game, who knows what the crowd's going to be like. How do you kind of get these guys to not let one loss become two? How do you kind of move forward? I'll tell you what, we talked about it the other day. We're as excited as hell. We wanted to get these meetings rolling, to get back out on the field, and, and to have a hell of a practice today. I mean, you start talking about looking ahead and looking ahead and this and that, and that's where um, you get caught up. So for us today, we've been – We've been uh, getting ready to have the best meetings we've ever had on a Tuesday today, and obviously the best practice, and we're gonna have fun doing it. And, you know, here's the thing, like I, like I just said, I mean, you can't take for granted. This season is a grind, but we only got four games left, believe it or not. I mean, look how far along we are now in the season. So it's day to day, week to week. You know, you always say that the days are long, the weeks are long, but those months, they start to stack up on you before you know it, it's over. So we're trying to enjoy every single day. With uh, getting back to the, the, the tight ends really quick, uh, mm -hmm. you're going to face another good one. Yeah. This I know Billy's numbers are down just a little bit, but uh, uh, he's good. Another, yeah. another chance to, to test that? Yeah, there's no question. Uh, and obviously, uh, they're going to see some film and they're going to have some ideas of how they want to use him in the passing game. They did last year. Um, and he's a good player. He is a good player. Um, and so. And going forward, not only do we got to handle the uh, the run game and, and, and all the fits there, but we got to handle some pass fits too. They do a great job in the pass game and create some route combinations. Um, they do do a good job also not only route combinations, but uh, creating one on ones um, where they're getting guys in certain situations, whether it be a tight end on a linebacker or a safety. With the own aspect, Ben Weaver, you know, he's a guy who's always. You guys knew he was going to be productive, but uh, you know that last game he was all over the place and stuff like that. What yeah. maybe maybe during this this senior year, what have, what have you really kind of noticed from him, and maybe how he's taken a step? Yeah, I mean he he made a lot of plays uh, the other night, and he needed to. We were on the field a lot, 
you know, and that's one of the things we talk about. Um, typically, if a guy has that many tackles, that probably means we're on the field way too much, you know. So that's that's good, and obviously that he stepped up and was very productive. But um, you know, he's been that way all year. He's he knows the defense as well as anybody um, on the defense. Uh, and, and obviously he has his things that he's got to continue to keep getting better at and he's going to have some challenges this week, you know, in terms of coverage and uh, um, being matched up on certain guys and uh, obviously uh, he's got to get ready to go do it again and hopefully he's not on the field as much this week.